What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl wanted to bring you another video in Swagmas and today I wanted to show you guys my empties. So I have been collecting my empties for I would say about three to four months now. I'm not always vigilant on actually making sure I put all of my empties in here but I did want to just show you guys my beauty empties. Now these will include stuff that I finished during Project Pan, stuff that I just finished naturally, etc, etc. I'm gonna have some skincare empties, some um, beauty em empties like deodorant, toothpaste, stuff like that and then I'm also gonna have makeup empties. So this is gonna be quite a bit of time I've never done an empties video on my channel mainly because I never had a way to really keep the empties without throwing them in my trash can because like my room isn't big enough to have like 10 different trash cans in here it just no so I moved my setup around a little bit and now I have an actual desk drawer that I can use to specifically be for my empties and we're getting towards the end of the year I don't think I'm going to have anything else that is going to be equivalent to being empty so I just wanted to go ahead and do this video today I did record my eye look. I'm hoping to have it up by the time this video goes up, but who knows? It will be an Instagram um, IGTV. I also got these new earrings. I'm super, super happy they finally came. I was hoping I would get at least one of my two purchases when it comes to Christmas earrings before Christmas, and I did. So your girl is happy. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of pile up the trash on my desk and talk to you guys about it so that I can finally throw some of this stuff away because I have quite a bit of stuff and I don't. Don't want to keep it all so let's get to it okay so i am surrounded in trash fun so we're going to try and do this in some form of order honestly it's probably not going to be any form of order at all but i'm just going to do my best to show you guys what I finished so I finished quite a bit of hair products this year or these last couple of months one thing that I finished is this Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair moisturizing twist and lock gel I didn't particularly like this um, product it was very clumpy um, and I just felt like like if you can look at the bottom first of all I got a lot of my strands of hair stuck in the gel and it's just it's clumpy I didn't really like it it took a lot for it to like smooth out on my hair what I will say is the smell of this range is really really nice I think I had two or three other products when I was in college from this range and I'm pretty sure this is actually from college so that tells you how old ago um I picked this up I really did like the range but like I did not like this particular product and I would not repurchase it at all next I finished up my first melanin twist elongating style cream um this is melanin is a brand a hair brand owned by natural 85 84 80 something and her sister they own and created this brand I really have been slowly learning the range um and they've been slowly putting out products I'm pretty sure this is the only product that I've tried from the brand but that's just because every time I go on either there with oh no I also had a huge oil which I finished this year I just did not keep that because I think at that point I didn't have this setup I had a huge one of their oils and this I picked up both of them at the same time I finished the oil a lot quicker just because I use oil in my hair a lot more and I use products like this a lot less. Either way, I enjoyed both products. I would repurchase. My only problem is that they don't restock or have enough stock. So by the time I need another hair product, there's never any stock on Ulta or on their website. So that's my one critique for the brand. But otherwise, I like the products that I have from them. Um, let's see. Another hair product that I finished up is this Diva Curl Build Up Buster. So this is supposed to be like a pre-shampoo micellar water based product and what you're supposed to do is just squeeze this onto your scalp you're supposed to massage your scalp I think your hair is supposed to be wet at the same time and then you're supposed to wash it out and then do your shampoo and conditioner and this is supposed to really help the build up on your scalp I think it does an okay job it definitely doesn't do the perfect amount of job but I've just been having a lot of build up personally on my scalp 
for a couple of months now um, and this just was not completely doing what it needed to do. If I use this in combination with some of my newer found or newer shampoos and conditioners, it might actually do a lot better. But in the current state, when I was using that with the shampoo and conditioner I was using, it just wasn't hitting it. And just because I brought that up, the shampoo and conditioner I was using, I tend to just buy stuff or get hand-me-downs from my mom. So these, I believe, were both actually hand-me-downs from my mom. And this is a creme de coconut and carotene nourishing shampoo from Crichton's and this is a Shea Moisture coconut and hibiscus curl and shine conditioner. These both were okay. I'm not dying to get them again but I'm not mad that I had them. I got through them which I'm happy about. Um, on to bigger and better things at this point. So that's kind of how that cookie crumbled. Um, I think those are all the hair products that I have still but honestly I didn't even get to empty the whole drawer um, and I because I didn't have room on my desk so we're gonna go with that is all the hair products for right now some other beauty non makeup stuff that I finished I finished a body butter from Lemis this is when I was like super active on Twitter. I'm not even active on Twitter my Twitter is basically dormant at this point I just don't have the time to stretch myself to all walks of life. This is an okay body butter. I actually like it. I just find that me and body butters personally just don't mix. I hate having to rub a million and one hours just to get the body to butter to really melt in your skin. It was nice. I really like the scent. I'm happy that the scent really lasted and that this did not have my skin be really affected. Some, a lot of scented lotions and butters my skin will freak out from. Not with this. So I am happy about that but I personally would not recommend, I would not repurchase it, um, but if you do like body butters, go for it. Um, another kind of bathroom item, I finished a cleanser, I recently finished this actually, and this is the Neutrogen, Neutrogena Acne Stress Control Cleanser. I'm not a huge fusser when it comes to my cleansers. I just want a nice cleanser that's going to get off the rest of my makeup or strip my skin of all of the daily grime that is accrued over the day so this did it i liked it i like that it foams up i do not like when my cleanser does not foam up that's my one like super need other than that i really don't care this was nice drugstore purchase i'm pretty sure i got it from ulta which is why i bought it um or target one of those two um another kind of skin carry item that i went through was i went through an alcohol free toner from neutrogena neutrogena i don't I don't have a preference when it comes to toner. I just like a clean toner that I feel cleansed and refreshed after. And this does it. This is kind of a go-to if I'm not wanting to repurchase something that I already have. And it's not very expensive. That's pretty much when I fall back to like Neutrogena or any real drugstore brand. When it comes to skincare is when I need something that's cheaper in the moment or I don't want to purchase something online. Because I have found an online skincare brand that I do like but Sometimes I just don't want a package coming to my house. I just don't. Um, two other kind of non-beauty items that are here on this table. I finished two candles and I've had these for quite a bit of time. These are both from Black a black owned brand and the brand is called Black Sunflower. This one is All That Jazz and this one was Strawberry and Whip cream all that jazz was my favorite of the two because it was the more unique of the two and this one the notes were lemongrass almond and mango i do not like mango at all but i really like this scent i feel like the lemongrass is definitely the top note and the other two are kind of bottom notes i really do like this one and i do like the brand it's just it was super expensive to pick up those two candles and to get them shipped to my house so We'll see if I ever really do purchase from them again, but I really did like the scent, so that is good. Um, I've been through like two of these. These are just uh, acetone nail polish remover. I change my nail polish a lot. Um, if I see a chip or two on like two different fingernails, I'm pretty much changing my nails if I'm, as long as I have the time. Um, and so I do go through nail polish remover quite a bit, um, and especially because I do a lot of based acetone, so yeah 
what else what else um i've been through a brush cleansing gel um this doesn't happen to be from real techniques i just wanted a cheap one from ulta when i picked this up i have made a purchase that included a brush cleanser and i'm really excited to try that one it is from food aid i got the food aid brush cleanser along with the brushes that i picked up but that is still in transit it still has not shipped i don't think i don't really know i need to figure out what's going on with that order um because if it doesn't ship soon i just need to go ahead and buy a brush cleanser because my brushes are really dirty and all the like spot cleansing that i have is not really hitting it for the ones that have um that have a uh, cream and liquid products stuck in them i go through quite a bit of deodorant as hopefully you do too um i stick with natural deodorants and this one happens to be from schmidt i didn't find that i had a problem going from aluminum filled deodorants to non-aluminum or natural deodorants um there are a couple days where i'm just like sis is not hitting it but i would have felt that same way with my normal deodorants because i sweat so yeah either way i've been through a couple of those really do like them i don't really have a preference on the scent because i don't find that the scent really does too too much unless you like sitting there smelling my armpit which i don't have that problem with anybody doing so i'm good my fragrance really kind of covers up my deodorant anyways um one of my favorite non-natural toothpastes is actually the arm and hammer um what's the brand i think the brand is arm and hand hammer um and this is the peri care Pe peroxy care wow i said peri care i really like this range um i've been using this range since high school something around there um and i think i've been through two tubes i think i just threw away one of them um in the time period i really do like this you have to get used to the arm and hammer like taste after the first two or three uses i was perfectly fine and adjusted but you do have to get used to it but once you are it's kind of weird to go to anything that's like fruity or tasty because you're like what what is this um i will say currently right now i'm testing out a natural toothpaste and i don't think it's going to stop me from repurchasing this i'm just putting it out there i would like to go to more natural toothpaste but it doesn't set up and i i have this weird thing where like if it doesn't set up my teeth are not truly getting clean so this is the whole like inter monologue of me every time i go brush my teeth and who has time um i've been through a couple of lashes i actually got rid of these i think i got my use out of these and this is the kiss ritzy lashes these were the very first lashes that i've had in my collection i got my use out of them i realized that i can wear them but like it takes too much time and nine times out of ten i don't put them on right so yeah i've gone through a couple of setting sprays i think this is the only one that i actually have at least up here right now and this one was the mac prep and prime matte finish um i will be cleaning out this bottle this is a glass bottle i've already reused it once with that mac fix um spray so i will be cleaning this out and reusing this bottle i really like this bottle um and i like that it's glass and i can reuse it uh in my makeup room especially like with setting sprays that have really funky um uh, nozzles i really like having that as backup um some other makeup items i finished up this becca skin love foundation this took quite a while to finish up but i finally did it i'm very very happy and thankful that i was able to get my use out of it um i'm pretty sure i even got this on sale so i really really am happy to have done that would i repurchase it maybe I don't think so i like the finish i liked everything about it but it's not something that like i can't live without i've been living without it for i think a month and a half now and i'm i'm perfectly fine we have a mascara i finished the benefit they are real mascara i actually liked this after it was open for about a month or so i liked it but i don't want to have to wait a month to like a mascara so i will not be repurchasing it um but i had purchased that in a holiday set last holidays um where i got three different benefit mascaras all together and i believe that was the last one that i had in that set so i just wanted to go ahead and get my use and my money's worth and i am happy that i did that okay a couple of powders i want to talk about really quickly 
Um, and this one I actually finished today, so woohoo for me. And this is the ColourPop Bits and Pieces Bronzer. I don't have anything left in this product. I'm very, very happy that I was able to finish this. I will be popping out the pan um, because the actual, this is a, a, a removable pan. And then I'll be keeping the compact to use maybe in a later purchase if I ever make a purchase from ColourPop. Otherwise, I might just use it with another um, product. I also finished up my Fenty Beauty Invisiblot Visimat Invisimat powder. Super easy to finish this baby up once I really just told myself you gotta get it done. Um, I was able to get through very, very easily. Two more powders that I have to talk about. One was is a loose powder and this is from Essence and this was the loose setting powder in Peach. This was like the debacle that they had where they were like using Casey Holmes face but she said that she wasn't collaborating and they didn't ask for her permission. Anyways I really liked the shade. I'd never had a peach setting powder before and I really liked it. There was not much product in this. There was only six grams of product so super easy to get through especially because it was a loose powder. I'm happy I got through it. Um, I don't think you can even purchase that so I won't be repurchasing it. Then I finished up all of the shades in the Shade and Light um, Contour Palette by KBD Vegan Beauty. I previously had this in a project pan last year. I only had this powder right here to finish up this year and I did as you can see. Do I want to repurchase this? No. I don't find that I need all three shades. I couldn't even get any use out of the first two so I actually ended up immediately giving those to my best friend. I did of course finish the last four which is a lot um, but I'm good and I don't think I need any of those powders. I will say I will say this under eye setting powder, the one in Lyric, I actually really did like that. So I may get that particular powder to just be in like a Z palette where I just have kind of my favorite powders. But the other two, I, I, I'm not lusting after them, but I'm not hating them either. Honestly, if I had to pick like a products to repurchase from this, I would pick the middle two. Those were my favorite and I got through both of those a lot quicker than the other two, but I just... I don't need it right now. Maybe what I might do is when I get through even more powders, I may pick up those two um, as a duo because the sheet, the the brand has the duos now. Um, so I may pick those up. Okay. So the last bit of products that I have on my desk right now, and this rotation is all skincare. Um, so let's just kind of run through these as quickly as your girl can. Um, those I haven't actually finished, so I don't know why they're here. Um, I've gone through a couple of different black owned brands. So this is one black owned brand that I tried and the brand's name is Zandra I believe. I can't really remember. It's a black owned skincare brand and they had a deep deep cleansing makeup remover. It is oil based. It's basically all oil. So if you don't like the feel of like a straight up oil taking off your makeup I would not recommend this. On top of that I just didn't feel like it really took off enough of my makeup to be a first step cleanse. So I am not going to be repurchasing this at all and I personally just would not recommend it. I haven't tried anything else from the brand but just from that experience I'm not gonna run to purchase anything else personally. Um, some other skincare that I finished up, I finished up my Pixi Overnight Glow Serum. I really do enjoy this serum and I enjoy almost everything that I've tried from Pixi skincare wise, but it's so expensive that I'm not positive I'm gonna be picking it up. Then I finished um, my The Ordinary Bee Oil. I did not like this nearly as much as I liked the rosehip oil so I was trying to force myself to finish this one up before I could repurchase the rosehip oil. Since finishing this I have purchased the rosehip oil and I'm still enjoying it. I must say I'm not enjoying it as much as I remember enjoying it the first round but that might just be honestly because my skin is in a different place than it was when I used the rosehip oil the first time. Another brand that I finished up a couple of products from is called Nola Skin Essentials. By the time this video goes up, I don't think my kind of overall review on the brand will be up, but I have already recorded it, so just wait for it. And this is their Love Your Body Wash. I think it's an okay body wash. I'm not really particular about body washes. I will say I felt like my skin was a little bit softer sometimes, um, but I'm, I'm just not like super particular about body washes. As long as you're cleaning my body, I use that honestly 
mostly just for a scent after soaping my body down so I don't really care and then I finished two of their sample sizes and products and this one was their glycolic toner and this one was their essence I enjoyed it both of these prior the, both of these sample products and I did go ahead and purchase full sizes which I am still working on finishing right now okay so those are all the products that were on my desk I'm gonna try and bend over and get the last couple items in my lap so I can show you guys and we can wrap up this video okay so I have quite a bit of just bits and bobs so bear with me I finished using my DJ unique boutique uh, sponge I actually really do enjoy the sponge it's no fuss no muss it's not like my holy grail but I did enjoy it and I do tend to or do plan to purchase from the brand again so I will probably go ahead and get another sponge because I am running rather low on sponges so yes um, I finished an oil this is uh, just a normal tea tree oil that I got from the hair um, salon or beauty supply it's fine. I usually put this in my spray bottle for my hair, which is why I was able to get through it rather quickly. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to finish this, honestly, because I have no other purpose for this. I wouldn't want to put this straight up 100%. Well, it's probably not 100%, but I wouldn't want to put this on my face. Um, if I used it for my face, I would definitely want to water it down so it's not too, too potent. I finished up my L'Oreal Voluminous um, Primer. I did really enjoy using this primer, but for me, using a primer in addition to my mascara is only beneficial if I'm using the makeup for a full day if I'm only wearing it to record it just does not make sense because it's murder on my eyelashes if I try and take this off within like the hour maybe three hours after I applied it so for me right now I'm just not going to repurchase maybe once we get out of um lockdown and quarantine and wearing the mask and all that I will but right now no I finished a travel spray of a perfume and this one was black opium by YSL this is a kind of normal scent like this is a very classic scent um I do like it don't get me wrong um but for me this is very much a like I can get this anywhere type scent. Um, I use this kind of back and forth between this and the KVD Vegan Beauty Saint scent. They are very much everyday scents so it's not super unique or super special to me. I probably will get a one ounce bottle. I probably will get a one ounce bottle of it later on but right now I'm not really pressed to get one. Um, some liners that I finished. This is a LA Girl or LA Splash liner in Phoenix. It is completely used up. I can't get any product out of this and I really did enjoy the liner. Um, the only thing I hated was that you had to take apart the two different, like I, I hate that. So yeah, I'm done with that. And then I also finished this Kaja uh wink stamp liner it came with the it was a duo um and i got this in an influencer box i didn't like that liner um because it was a felt tip but i got it for free so your girl best to have used it i was i was not playing with y'all at all and on top of that i just went ahead and got rid of the actual stamp um because i just i don't need it um it was cute but i, I personally just don't need it i like how my wings come out by hand i finished two other foundations um this one is the hue noir foundation i actually didn't fully finish it i have about half of the product left but I don't like it. I'm not getting any enjoyment out of it. So it went straight into my empties to throw away. And then my Fenty Beauty Skin uh, Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 470. This is my summer shade and tone. I no longer have any product left. I am very, very happy about that. I've had this foundation for a really disgustingly long time. So I'm happy I finished it. And it is now out of my collection. Okay, some primers that I've been through. I finished up my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which is a sneak peek because I don't think I would have shown you guys my um, my uh, project uh, ending. I also finished up my Becca First Light Priming Filter Primer Sample, and I also finished up my Tatcha The Silk canvas primer all of those primers were actually in a project pan which is actually very interesting um and i finished them up i went through quite a bit of primers these last 
six months of the year and I'm happy about that. I'm down to a small amount of primers and I think that's enough. I think that having one mattifying, one luminous, and one kind of no fuss no must primer is what your girl wants. Um, if I had to like what would you repurchase? I would probably repurchase these two. This one just because I really like this primer. Like this is one of my most repurchased primers. This is the most repurchased primer I've ever had. Um, and this one just because I like the finish but I already have a hydrating luminous finish primer so I don't need that one right now. Another skincare product that I finished up was my Vitamin C Serum from The Ordinary. I like this. This one was the 23%. I've also had the 30%. I think they're both fine. My only kind of qualms with those is that you feel it, okay? You feel it when you put it on your face. So I think if you cut it with like maybe your moisturizer or something, it's better. But I'm okay. Right now I'm using a vitamin C serum actually from Nola Skin um, and I'm enjoying that right now and I don't find the need that I need to cut it so your girl is happy. I finished up a bullet lipstick from KVD Vegan Beauty and this is in the shade Slayer. I finished her up. There's no more product so she is an empty. Um, two more mascaras that I finished up. I finished up the Real Lash Mascara and I also finished up the Elf and J Kissa Mascara in Brown. Both of these, they ran their course. This is an okay mascara. Once again, I just don't want to repurchase it. I don't think it is worth it. Um, and this, I just didn't use it enough. Um, and by the time I got to it, it was dry. But when I used it, it was, it was okay. It was cute. I shouldn't have bought it. Um, Okay, we're running down to the wire. I have another product that um, I just got rid of and this is my Lancome Black Liner. I don't like this liner. I don't think that it does what it should. I don't think that it actually applies on my waterline and stays there so that it became an empty. I finished up one of my travel size um, amounts of toothpaste. I don't really like this toothpaste but I had it so I went ahead and used it up. I finished up my KVD Vegan uh, Locket Concealer in the shade d33 warm my best friend gave this to me because it was too dark for her um it's okay it's a little too much coverage for me i don't like full coverage on concealer or foundation but i got my use out of it i won't be purchasing it for myself another thing that i purchased from nola skin in their simple size was their cucumber mist and if i remember correctly this was their setting spray i did not like it at all i used this kind of the same way i would use the um what the, is the brand? I can't think of the brand, but like you know the brand that like has basically flavored water or think of like the Smashbox priming water, how you use that, that's how I use this just to get through it. Um, but I, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of it. Another set of lashes that I just, I'm letting go are these from Sugar Pill. They're way too big. I, I shouldn't even play with them. I should have just given them away because I had no business keeping them. I also finished up another sample size from Nola Skin and this was in their moisturizer. I liked it. I repurchased it and got the full size. And then the last two products that I have in this empties are two other very small sample fragrances. So I finished the Legend. Is that the name of the brand? No, the Paco Rambe de Perfum and Invictus and then the Jo Malone and Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I've already gone ahead and picked up my one ounce of this. I am so happy I have that. This is such a unique scent and it smells so so good and this one I've already put on my list to pick up from Sephora when the time is right. So that's it. I mainly I did a lot of skincare, not skincare. Yeah, a lot of this is skincare and hair care, which I am very happy with. A lot of this hair care I've had sitting under my um, sink for years, and it was just time to get through it. Um, other stuff, a lot of this stuff, makeup wise, was because of Project Pans, and I'm happy about that. I think I found my step in my groove when it comes to the Project Pan community and how they work for me. Um, so I'm just going to be keeping these so that I can actually film my um, conclusion to my 10 by 
2021 video but i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the first time i've done this empties let me know if you guys are down for it if you are what i think i'm going to be doing is just keeping all of my empties in this drawer until it fills up and then i'll be doing videos which will probably be like around every six months or so so let your girl know like i said in the intro i hope i did record this look i will have these new earrings linked down below for you guys i'm really really enjoying them um and that's all i got for you guys and as always y'all black lives do matter please remember to like and subscribe to this video please remember to wear a mask and stay safe and i will see you guys on the other side